welcome back. So this is a long awaited lip injection video. I promise this. A lot of you guys have been asking me in some comments, but if you've followed me on Snapchat or on Periscope, I did talk about the fact that I had recently gotten lip injections. Now I know there's gonna be a lot of comments about lip injections in the comments down below. If you are somebody who doesn't agree with lip injections, by all means, please do not feel free to not agree with it and not want to choose it for you. This video is not trying to push anyone getting lip injections onto people. I know that it's something that has been talked about a lot recently and I feel like a lot of people are doing it. I'm one of those people that it's like I need to try things out first for myself and that's, I mean, I'm not saying that that's why I got them, but I was interested. I wanted to try it out and I figured if it was something I didn't like then they would go away, they would dissolve. So this video is for those of you who said you were interested in hearing about my experience and I just figured I would talk a little bit about my experience, the price, um, recovery time, and I would show some before and after pictures and I did take pictures throughout the process of as far as like this was the day that I had them, this was the swelling, the night that I had them, and those sorts of things. So this should give you a general idea if you're someone who's planning on it or if you've been thinking about it or I don't know if you're just curious plain curious you can watch and see so if that's you then please keep watching if you're someone who just doesn't agree with this kind of stuff you can watch if you want to but um, I will be monitoring the comments down below because I won't accept any comments that are really just telling me anything negative about them because it's something that I personally decided to do and I'm okay with it so I'm just not going to accept the negativity over the you know procedures or anything like that so I'm just going to go ahead and put that out there so you can try and leave a negative comment if you want but it will be deleted so ready set let's go Okay, first things up, I found the doctor that I wanted. Now, I used a board-certified plastic surgeon. Uh, I, he had come highly recommended, and I had looked into him a while back. He was recommended by someone in my twin group who had had tummy tucks and all the such, and that's something that I was looking at a time or two ago if I could lose enough weight. That hasn't happened yet, so that surgery has not happened yet. But he is someone who had come recommended to me. Um, he also does Botox and things like that. So I decided that I would use him and some of the girls in his office said that he was really good at doing lips. So I booked an appointment for kind of a consultation. Now my initial consultation, if I decided not to proceed from there, um, I think the consultation fee is $70. Now this is just a typical consultation fee. Um, I think it's just for my office. I'm not quite sure if this is for every office, but they have a consultation fee. Now that price goes towards the product. So whatever it may be, that pr initial price of the consultation, if you do decide to go ahead and do it, um, goes with that product goes towards that product. Now, I decided to use Juvederm. Now, a lot of people have said to me that they have gotten a Juvederm product that has, is a, they're able to put some of it in and, and save the rest for later. Now, my doctor told me that because I have a sensitivity to preservatives, there were no preservatives in the Juvederm that I was, be, that was being administered to me. So, with that being said, I couldn't just use part of it and then save the rest for another time. I either had to use all of it or use what was given, or you know, like what, what I wanted, what he thought would be good on me. So $500 was the price, that was for one unit of Juvederm. So I, I think it's called units or vials, I'm not quite sure, but I got one full, full syringe, I think, of Juvederm. So that one full syringe was $500. Now, they typically say you either have one syringe, two syringes, three syringes, four syringes, or that whole thing. Now, I said I wanted to immediately, I said I don't want them to look too overdone. I have like a wonky lip line. I also have unevenness, and this was either like, it just was uneven right here. Like one went higher and the other one went lower. I can't remember what it was, but that he said would be a little bit tricky to, to correct, but that he would try. So what I asked for was him to do my borders. Um, and he said that that would take half a syringe alone 
just to, to even out my borders and kind of just plump them up a little bit and even everything out. Then, because I also had like an indentation on my bottom lip where it like, you guys have heard me talk about this before if you followed my channel, where it kind of indented and then it went a little bit further. So if I used a lip liner, it looked like I was overlining and if I didn't overline to that thing or if I didn't like line to the line, it looked like weird. So anyways, I just got those kind of corrected. Then I had about a half a syringe to plump up my lips. Now, when we started, I asked what kind of numbing things. A lot of my friends who um, have gotten lip injections, which let me tell you, a ton of people have. A ton. I think, yes, Just I'm just going to leave it there. A ton of people have, whether they're going to admit it or not, they have. So when I first had heard about it from my friends, they basically said that they got like numbing cream on their lips and that was it. No, no. My guy did a total like face block basically um, of, uh, what's it called, um, Novocaine. So I had that like what you would get at the dentist. So I had that put in right here and right here which blocked all the way down like this. Then I had it put inside my mouth, inside my gums, and inside over here. Which literally blocked everything. The only thing that I could feel was my cupid's bow. Which really, really hurts. Okay? So they had me numb up with ice before they did the Novocaine shots. Then they did the Novocaine shots and you feel like your face is huge because you literally cannot feel anything. So I had that done and the, the shots weren't that painful, but they weren't comfortable either. So that kind of sucked. Um, and then they went ahead and did the borders. Now the way that they do that is they pricked a little needle in the corner of my lip. This is graphic. If, some, if this kind of stuff like really ooze, like freaks you out, you might not want to listen. But they prick a little hole. They almost make like a pocket hole because they use a little bit bigger gauge of a needle to insert the product. And what they did was they made that kind of like hole in the corner of my mouth and then they shoved the needle. I know that doesn't sound nice, but they pushed the needle through all the way to the other end of the lips and then released the product. And as they were doing that, they kind of dragged the needle back. Now, as you can imagine, it's an incredibly weird feeling because you can kind of feel it and hear it and there's, you, you don't really feel necessarily the pain, but this right in the center of my lips and right in the center here, I could feel everything. So those are the only two parts that never numbed on my lips. So when you would kind of drag back through or pop through the sort of skin right there, I could feel it. So it wasn't necessarily comfortable. It was a very like, uh, you know, you, I mean, I, I assume you wouldn't think it was comfortable, but I definitely was like, you know, I had to brace up for it. So afterwards, they kind they used the entire full syringe on me. So I had one full unit um, in my lips. So he did the borders and then he had me look at it and he said, what do you think? And so we kind of went here, a little bit more here, a little bit more here, a little bit more here. I said, I just didn't want to go out there having two little hot doggy lips and everyone to know that I got something done. I wanted to be a little bit more on the safe side. But again, I didn't want to have to go through this entire process again. So he told me that he thought thought that my lips in particular could handle one full unit and I would not feel like I got or like one full syringe and I wouldn't feel uh, like it was too much. He thought it would heal well and it would look well and I, I would be happy with that. He didn't think I would be happy with a half of it. So you kind of have to trust your doctor, which I did because proportion to my face, I felt like he knew the best and was recommending the best. So I instantly started to swell up. My lips immediately, you know, with all of the, you know, needles going in and around the lip line, I instantly swelled up and I started to panic. So one side of my mouth, since everything was still numb, my I could still smile, but like one side was way, this side was way puffier than this side. And I still actually feel like there is more product over here, just a touch, than there is over on this side. So when I went home, I immediately got in the car and I like called my friend Dana and I was like, oh, I messed up, I messed up, I look so bad, everyone's gonna notice, this is horrible, I think I messed up. I called my friend Kathleen too and I was like, I, I just, I made a huge mistake, I made a huge mistake, like I should have done this but I got lip injections and I should have talked myself out of it but I did it. And so I sent the pictures to them and which this picture I will post to you guys, um, the picture of one, the first day, the day that I got back, like a couple of hours afterwards um, you're only allowed to put lip product on as far as Vaseline so that's all you can put on your lips 
So I'll post that picture of the first couple of hours that I had the lip injections and I was like, oh no, they're like swelling up. It hurt really, really bad. They get the most swollen that night and then the next day um, is the worst day probably and then the day three, they are so much better. So my lips took about one week to fully feel like they weren't swollen and then they weren't tender. I did have a little bit of bruising in the pockets that they made on the sides right here, but besides that, there weren't any elaborate bruises. It was just a little bit of bruising in those corner um, spots that you could kind of see on my lips. Okay, one of the things is you have to keep your head elevated when you're sleeping. That was something that was really necessary. I kept my head propped up because if I laid flat down, it almost made my lips feel like they were going to swell more. Um, and I was putting ice on them every 20 minutes basically since I got them for like probably two days. So that I got them in the morning and then I did it all the rest of the day and then I did it all the next day. So two full days I feel like I was really icing them on and off every 20 minutes and it felt like I needed it. They just gave me little ice packs at the office and I was able to put those on my lips and I just kind of rotated between two of them um, and every 20 minutes I was just putting on a new ice pack and like I said that really really helped out. Um, as far as using any type of product that was like a lip plumper that was a question that I had. Can I still use my, my lip plumper products those do not affect it I asked him how long it should last and he said it should last about four to six months depending on some people the product really um, metabolizes quickly in some people versus other people and I thought hey I don't think I got a fast metabolism, so I'll probably have it the full six months, but I really do have to say that I feel like it has really gone down recently, and I'm not even quite sure anyone would notice unless I told them. So like I said, it took about a week for the swelling to go down, but I will insert a picture of three days later right here now of what they look like. They were still a little bit swollen. Um, they still kind of felt a little bit swollen, and I liked the way that they looked at this point, but I knew that the swelling would go down a little bit more even so. A lot of people who had them told me that the swelling would go down a little bit more, so um, I was expecting it to go down a little bit more. Now, do I think it's worth it? I actually do. I think the pain is a lot, the money is a lot, but kind of now knowing what I know, um, personally I'm glad I started out with one um, syringe full. The next time if I were going to start from scratch I'd probably do one and a half. Um, the, the problem is is for my particular I would have had to pay for two syringes which would have been a thousand dollars because I would have just the, the a extra half of that syringe could not have been used by me because I couldn't have put it aside. So now I don't know if that's typical with every place but the kind of Juvederm that they used on me I guess he said had no preservatives because I did ask about putting some in and putting some aside. So and then I'll insert a picture of what they look like about a week out. And like I said, the week out picture, um, a lot of people started to kind of question and notice. There was a Friday Favorites video that I did film like two days after and I scratched that video. Or I filmed actually day after, but it was supposed to go up two days after. I scratched the video because in the video my lips were like... It was too noticeable and I just didn't want to like put that out there that that's what they were going to look like because I knew that would elicit a lot of comments from everyone. I feel like now I can just tell like I'm looking in the viewfinder just to get a little look. This side like I said is a little bit more puffy. Um, I feel like they're just a little bit more enhanced. My bottom lip feels a little bit more enhanced. I feel like it Fix the ridge issue um, gave me a little bit more. Like I said, I would go in and get a little bit more, but the process is so painful-ish. At least for me, it was really uncomfortable and the swelling kind of took a long time and I really felt like, geez, are my lips going to be normal again? Um, but I really, really like the end result, so I do think it's something that I will do again, if that makes any sense. Um, I'm trying to think if I have any other questions or things that people wanted to know. I think I touched on the price, um, the product that I used, the heal time, how long it's supposed to be. 
Uh, so price 500, I had Juvederm, I had one full unit. Uh, it took about a week until it was fully healed with no swelling. The doctor said he wouldn't put any more in or do any touch-ups until I had had it for three weeks. So I think at three weeks they consider all the swelling that you're gonna have is gonna be going away. But I personally noticed no more soreness or swelling by three week or by one week. So um, that was kind of it. You there was nothing really that you couldn't do. Like I said, the first two days they advise you not to put any lip product on. So I kind of just used um, like Aquaphor on my lips. I used a little bit of a Murad sort of jelly based product on my lips. Um, but besides that, I really do like the end results. So, you know, I just touch up, with, like I use a nude lip liner and I kind of go like right at my lip line and I just feel like it's the perfect amount for me and for my lips, but I don't want to be someone who just keeps going back and getting more and getting more and getting more and then it's like, but if you want to do that, that's all on you. So uh, I just think lips are something that I've always been interested in having and I've always been interested in um, sort of the process of it. So I'm really glad that I kind of went through it. Now, if you guys have any questions or comments, I am going to try and answer every single question about injections um, down below in the comments down below. So leave them down below and I will try and answer every single question. Hopefully you guys enjoyed some before and after shots so you could kind of see my lips before and after. And um, yeah, I don't really think there's too much of a difference now, now that I have them, but I do like them. So... I guess, I guess I see a slight difference, enough for me to appreciate that I had them done. So anyways, hopefully this video was helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Mwah.